Oh, good marker dart right there too. Oh, that was a good marker. Yow yeah time. Ready for this one guys? Yow yeah darts from the Philippines. We got the tornado darts and the review begins right now. Okay guys, darts review time, and I tell you what, we've got a great video for you today. Wait until you see these things. Best part is, this is gonna be part one of two, because today we're gonna review the darts. Next week, we're gonna review this company's points on this set of darts. So yeah, we got some good things coming for you, but in today's video, we've got the Yow Yeah Tornado Darts, and uh, just an incredible set of darts. I'm gonna say this right out of the gate. The darts coming out of the Philippines, specifically this company, some of the nicest darts on the planet. Now check this out, they don't have a store or anything like that, I guess they have a Facebook page. But if you go to their Facebook page and you check them out, some of the machining that they have, absolutely incredible. I mean, these darts look amazing. Best part is, they're super affordable as well. This set of darts, somewhere in the vicinity of 40 US dollars. And these things, they're so nice. It's just one of those sets of darts you take out of the package, you hold them in your hands and you're like, yeah, that's a nice set of darts. And that's exactly what these are. So yeah, we've got the darts review today. We're gonna review their spike points next week and we're gonna put them on this exact set of darts. So yeah, keep an eye out for that one. But um, hey, same thing we always do here, stats and dimensions. We'll take a close up look. I'll give you the grip level and then we'll get them on the board. I'll throw them for a bit and I'm gonna let you know what I think of the Yao Yeah Tornado Darts. And again, I'll have a link, I guess, to their Facebook page down below in the pinned comments. So make sure you check them out there, but let's get into it, guys. Here we go. Okay, guys, let me show you what was included here. We'll start with this compact cardboard box here. In darts, we unite. So that's the packaging there. Inside, we had a foam insert, and I want you to check this out. There are the Yao Ye spike points. I'll do a review on them next week, and I'll install them on this set of darts. So that was the foam insert. He included a couple sets of their flights, a couple sets of their stems, and he even threw in some stickers. Everybody loves stickers, so yeah, nice to get a bunch of stickers as well. So yeah, that was everything that's included, but now you guys want to see these beautiful set of darts, and I think a lot of you looking at these for the first time right now are going to think that, yeah, they're right up my alley. I love the micro multi-ring stuff on the back. Nice tapered front end there. Got some silver points, but again, I'm going to repoint them with the Yao Ye spike points next week. We've got an intermediate length nylon stem. Again, he included two sets. These are 40.5 millimeters, not including the threads. And there are the Yao Ye standard size flights. But um, yeah, let's get a little bit closer look, and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions of these beautiful barrels. I love that logo up front, don't you? Nice, nice set of darts. Okay, guys, stats and dimensions time. We're going to start with the points like we always do here on this channel. These come with a set of generic silver points. They stick out of the barrel 29 millimeters in total, but don't worry. Like I said, next week I'm going to replace these things for a video, and we're going to slap on those incredible spike points. So keep an eye out for that one next week. Now, as far as the barrels go, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 50.9 millimeters long. In the barrel width, with these being a straight barrel dart, well, minus the taper, but the rest of the barrel is a straight barrel dart, 6.6 .6 millimeters wide. Now, I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth, and they're drilled out rather shallow at 10.5 millimeters deep in the back end. Now, as far as the match weight goes, they're advertised as 22 grams, and guess what? They get their own video clip, so you know what that means. Here we go. Okay, guys, so I just checked all the stats and dimensions here. This is the first part of the video that I film, but first time around, we had perfect match weight. And funny enough, I just had to turn off my fan because the slightest breeze will make these scales flip-flop back and forth. They are just so, so sensitive. So you saw that, 22 grams on the first one. The second barrel, again, spot on, 22.00. And I think you guys know where this one's going. Let's check the third barrel. And there you go, guys. Perfect match weight. Advertises 22 grams. All three barrels spot on. 22.00 grams. That's amazing. I'm telling you what, these are some super high quality darts. 
and I hope the video is capturing just how nice these things are. But let's go into the next clip, and I'll tell you about the grip. Alrighty, guys, grip level time here, and I believe these barrels probably about as grippy as they look, which is not very, right? Yeah, very mild grip here. I'm absolutely loving these two micro multi-ring sections on the back end. It reminds me a lot of many 180 darts, which I love. But yeah, I think this barrel is designed for probably a middle gripper to a rear gripper. Although, pay attention here up front where this uh, Tornado logo is. If you'll notice, right where the uh, logo is, there's an indentation there. So let's pretend you had a rear grip and your maybe middle finger was in this section, this area. Yeah, it's going to make for a nice marker. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. But yeah, I actually like that indentation there. Overall, I'd say grip level 2.2 on a scale of 1 to 5. Again, very mild. Looking at this super tapered nose cone, we've got five machined multi-rings on the nose cone. And ooh, monster lip there. Although, don't worry, guys. Next week, we're going to fix that. We've got the spike points here. Let me get one of these out of here. But man, I tell you what, you got to be careful because these are the sharpest points known to mankind. I mean, that's like a needle right there. I don't even know if I can hold it like this. Let's see, I don't want to bleed. But I tell you what, right now, if you drop this dart with these points installed, if you drop it on your foot, you will bleed. They're gonna stick in and they're just ungodly sharp on the front end. Wow, 38 millimeters showing the total point length, 43 millimeters, including the part that you install. But yeah, once installed, you'll have 38 millimeters showing and yeah, that's going to be a huge improvement next week. That's going to look amazing. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that video. But let's get these things on the board. I'm going to put on some Trident 180 nose cones just to eliminate that lip. And we're going to throw them just like you see them. So, let's see how they fly. Okay, guys, just had a quick warm-up. I tell you what, I'm having so much fun throwing these darts. I feel right at home with them simply because the micro multi-ring sections on the back end, they remind me a lot of my old match darts. The 180 Reloads, and then after that I use the 180 Bavaria, the Bavaria Ultras. And yeah, they just, they feel similar. So yeah, probably three, four, five turns I was already used to them, and they just felt like my match darts. So um, here's what we're going to do. Same thing as last video. We're going to do count up on the numbers 20s, or 20s through 15s. So we'll do count up, and the one negative here, these stems, will not hold the flight. So we'll do count up plus keep track of how many flights end up on the floor. But yeah, that's, that's only my one negative. I think 95% of us use our own stems and flights, so that doesn't matter too much, right? My grip, point of finger and thumb right on that middle, the uh, middle micro multi-ring section. And as a bonus, the very front, or the very, yeah, the very front of my point of finger somehow hits that indentation. And it just, it makes for a nice, easy, repeatable grip each and every time. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liking these barrels a lot. <laughs> the stems, not so much. So there's five plus one on the floor. <laughs> I gotta bend over and get these bites. Ah, my back's already hurting. All right, five and one to start us off with. And I think I mentioned it in the last video, but if you're playing this game, I mean, you could also include the bullseye, you might as well, but the six segments, if you can score 24, I think that's a good score. That's an average of four marks every turn, so 24 is good. There we go, right down the middle there. Hey, there's six more, so five and six work to 11. Plus one, one flight on the floor. And you know what I gotta say about the micro multi-rings? You know why I like those? It just seems like I have a lot of control over the barrels. Like, you know, it's not too grippy, but yet it's not too mild. So I don't know, like I can adjust really well. Like the first dart, I missed. The other two darts, right down, you know, right dead center in the middle of that trouble 19. So easy dart to adjust with. Some darts just aren't. If they're too grippy, you miss with the first dart, and the other two, you don't know where they end up either. So, just, I guess basically what I'm saying, this is an easy dart to throw. Easy dart to control. I don't know how that flight stayed on there. Oh, four more, so we're up to 
15, 15 and one. Comes off the fingertips really clean. Nothing sticks to your fingers. Uh-oh. Oh, that is a beautiful, I'm gonna put that up there anyway. Third Dark Saber. So we're up to 20, 20 plus one. And you know what, with these tapered, um, the tapered front end, they seem super aerodynamic, so they're getting to the board pretty quick as well. Ooh, 22 and one. Ah, 16s let me down. Let me see if I can have a good turn on the 15s. Oh, hey, there we go. That's why they give you three. What do we got? All right, so there's four more. What do we have? 22, 26 with two flights on the floor. 26 and two. Not too bad. A little over four marks per turn. We'll take it. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, yeah, the barrels, top-notch stuff. The stems, not so much. But uh, here's what we've got. We've got one more clip for you. We've got a 180 with, hey, guess what? Flight on the floor. We'll give these things a recommendation afterwards, and that's it for the video. Let's get out of here. Enjoy the last clip. Boom! Flight missing, 180. Yeah, these stems, throw them right in the garbage. There's the last one. Also a good example, that last art with these tapered nose cone. Man, you can group these things so, so tight, but I swear to God, my back's getting kind of sore from bending over, picking up flights during this entire warm-up. They just, uh, flights do not stick into these stems. So these stems, whoosh, gotta go. But hey, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review of the yeah yeah tornado darts thumbs up if you enjoyed it and again a reminder i guess i'll have some sort of link down in the pinned comment where you can contact them i guess the best place is over on their facebook page so check them out over there and um now i guess i gotta give these a recommendation on how well i think they're gonna work for your typical average everyday recreational dart player and i tell you what monster score incoming just because of the quality here and the perfect match weight and the price. You factor everything in together, they can't help but get a monster score. Now, as far as this set of darts goes out, these are 22 grams. I believe they come in 24 grams as well. Don't hold me to that. So that's gonna cover a pretty decent amount of dart players there. And let's just go ahead and jump right into it. 9.2 out of 10. I just absolutely love with these darts. I'm in love with all the rest of the darts that they make. I think it's a quality company. They make incredible products and they don't crack you over the head with a price, which as you know, the main theme here on this channel, great darts don't have to cost a lot of money and these certainly fit into that category. So we'll leave it at that, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, next week, part two with the Yow Yeah Spike Points. So that should be a good one as well. We will catch you on the next video. Later.